stand by for a priority communication from Supreme Chancellor Leon Teen Suresh of the Galactic Republic. I'm honored to speak with you again, Master Jedi. Your victory over the Sith Infiltrator saved the Republic, but we face new threats to our security. It isn't every day the leader of the Free Galaxy calls. How can I help you, Madam Chancellor? The Hut Cartel has invaded Republic space and seized the planet Makeb. We will respond to this unprovoked act of aggression in full force. My War Council will be convening on Keylander Station in the Makeb system. I ask that you join us immediately. I'll set a course for the Makeb system right now. Greetings. I am Zan Threlo, Republic Protocol Officer. Welcome to Makeb and Keylander Station. Please hold all questions. Supreme Chancellor Suresh and her delegation are arriving. My friends, this wise Jedi Master has protected the Republic from dangers without and within time and again. I can think of no greater guardian of our security. Protecting the Republic takes more than a lone Jedi. It requires the vigilance and strength of everyone safekeeping our society. Astute words, and especially fitting here. Victory over the Empire lies within our grasp. But first, we must face a cowardly act of unwarranted aggression. Supreme Commander Malcolm. Thirteen days ago, the Hutt Cartel violated Republic space and seized the planet Makeb. They've blockaded the system with 30 Ajur-class heavy cruisers. Makeb's citizens have formally pledged to join the Republic if we respond to their crisis. We will not abandon them to the Hutt's brutality. The galaxy has suffered upheaval, but the Hutt's haven't been interested in galactic conquest for 15,000 years. This war has created opportunities for the greedy and unscrupulous. Severe atmospheric conditions on Makeb make large-scale troop landings impossible. We need help from local resistance forces to pull this off. One of Makeb's business leaders, Shalem Avesta, is awaiting you on the surface. I want you working closely with him. If he's bold enough to stand up to the Huts, he'll be worth listening to. Shalem would sooner accept a live grenade than Hut rule. Liberating Makeb is your top priority, but I want the Hut's ambitions ended permanently. Grandmaster Satil Shan has insight regarding our enemy's future plans. The Jedi Council has meditated on the cartel's actions. We believe that Makeb is a staging point for a larger attack on the entire galaxy. The Huts will not be allowed to expand their dominion at our expense. It's always an honor to face down the enemies of the Republic, Madam Chancellor. When our enemy realizes who they're facing, I predict a hasty retreat. A shuttle will transport you to Shalem Avesta's encampment on the surface. Go now, and show the galaxy the Republic is not to be trifled with. You're one of the Republic heroes come to free my homeworld. You're just... <laughs> wow. I wish we'd joined the Republic ages ago. Your people could have joined us when the Sith Empire returned to the galaxy. What stopped you? That was before my time, but we've always minded our own business and not gotten involved in other people's fights. Stupid, huh? I was here when the Huts blocked all of McKeb's comm channels. Haven't been able to get a signal from my family since. No idea what's happened down there. There's only one way to find out. Fire up that shuttle's engines. Don't know if they told you, but, uh, McKeb's atmosphere's a real mess. Most ships get torn to bits by electrical storms on entry. My baby's got special ion shields to absorb the electromagnetic interference, but we're still in for a rough ride. Hopefully we won't land in little pieces. Didn't McKeb's first colonists run into this problem? The interference destroyed their communication equipment. They had to build the colony in isolation. Right. Took decades to build a world worth having. Now the huts have stolen it away. My shuttle's prepped. Hop aboard, we'll be on our way. I want to take your anti-nausea stims, too.
You honor my home, Master Jedi. I'm Shayla Mavesta. The Supreme Chancellor promised us relief, but you're more than I ever hoped. My family helped found McKen. Mavesta Mining has led our business council for decades. I was practically chief of state before the cartel's takeover. It wasn't an easy decision. But if joining the Republic is the only way to reclaim my home world's freedom, so be it. You don't sound happy about this alliance. What made your decision to accept the Republic's help so difficult? The cab's been independent since our founding. It's always been part of our people's character. Ilosoth is a former mercenary with the Interstellar Regulators. Until recently, the cab's trusted private army and police force. Quit when the Regulators sold out to the Huts. I don't betray a client for credits. Exceptions like him notwithstanding. The cartel bought off the Regulator forces and turned our former protectors against us. How many ex-mercenaries do you have on your side? Enough to take down the rest? Regulators who refused the hut buyout either ran or got shot for disloyalty before they could. I still don't know why this has happened. We've conducted peaceful business with the hut cartel for years. Casualty and damage reports coming in. Talau City got rattled pretty hard, but no injuries. Lucky. That's the fifth ground quake since the Hut's takeover. The last one leveled the Tigan mining colony. They're still pulling bodies from the rubble. These ground quakes started after the Hut's invaded. Doesn't sound like a coincidence. You aren't the first to voice that thought. My niece Lemda is a respected geophysicist. She joined our resistance to prove there's a link between the ground quakes and the Hut's deep core mining. She was taking seismic readings on a deserted mesa when a whole company of regulators swarmed in. We lost contact with her. I sent search parties to bring Lemda back. But they aren't trained or equipped to fight a mercenary force of that size. I have a feeling your niece discovered something, and the Hut sent the regulators to stop her from getting away. That's my fear as well. Getting reports from our search parties. Dozens of regulators have pushed them back to the landing zone. We lose that, we'll never find Lambda. Tell your people they'll soon fight alongside Jedi. I know a thing or two about solving mysteries the hard way. Let's hope the Regulators are smart enough to recognize when they're outmatched. Take my personal shuttle to Friend Mesa. Lane Farrow is our man at the landing zone. Shayla Mavesta sent us. You're in charge here? Reinforcements! We're saved! Prosk, come here! It's a Jedi! Speak up, Lane. Not sure the whole Mesa heard you. My name's Prosk, in case Slick here didn't enunciate clearly. Kid's an accountant, barely knows which way to point a blaster. Can't say I'm much better. Used to be a mining foreman. We've set up barricades, but they're not doing much against the regulators. What's the plan, boss? What are we up against here? Have you seen the Regulator forces? There's a lot of them. They're mean and well-armed. We didn't introduce ourselves. Scouts report Regulators headed this way. Big group. Everyone's manning a barricade. Um, find one and dig in. Master Jedi, I've never... Those Regulators... You're incredible! I'll drink to that, Slick. Those mercs will think twice about hitting us again. We owe you one. You could have run, but you held your ground and defended a greater cause. That's heroism. We're in this for Makeb, Master Jedi. Backing down's not an option. Shalem sent you to find Lemda, right? Bring back his Geo... whatever niece in her research. We haven't had much luck there. Her campsite was ransacked. The Regulators must have already captured her and confiscated all the research data. Shalem's right. She found something important. She might have escaped on foot before the mercenaries hit her camp. Maybe. But then why hasn't she contacted us for help? Scanners indicate no one except you has landed on or left the Mesa since the Regulators came. That means she's still here. Probably at one of their camps. Great. There's half a dozen camps and no way to pinpoint which one she's at. Have to keep hitting them until she turns up. 
When I assault those camps, the regulators attacking here will fall back to reinforce their camps. Good. We could use a breather. A few of our search parties never made it back. You find any other prisoners, send them here. Someone here might know how to slice the regulator's comm frequency and find out what they're doing. Ask around, Prosk. Slick takes charge with his big brain. On it, boss. We'll hold this landing zone as long as it takes. Good luck. Red team, come in. This is Vice Commandant Grevin. We've scanned heavy fire in your zone. Status report. Your men chose fighting over negotiating. Be reasonable and free the geophysicist. You have no authority here, Jedi. That girl is our legal prisoner. You're outnumbered by troops who have run ops in 30 systems. Our victory rate is 100%. You got lucky this time. It won't happen again. You should have taken the hint. I command the regulators, and I've got plenty of reinforcements to throw your way. Now they're angry. All I want is Lemda. I have no desire to inflict casualties. My regulators don't share that sentiment, Master Jedi. It's Prosk, you read? We slice the Merc's comm network, hearing all kinds of interesting chatter. Whatever you're doing, it's paying off. The Mercs have pulled back. The landing zone's all ours. Dig in and be ready in case they come back. Understood. We'll keep listening to the Mercs bellyache too. Might learn something we can use. Keep up the pressure. Prosk, come in. We've taken out multiple regulator camps. Still no sign of Lemda. Scouts report you've got those mercenaries chasing their own tails. Lemda has to be nearby. I'll take some men out and cover more ground. Think you're clever? Killing my people? Slicing our comm channel? Every time you hit us, the huts crack down even harder on the nice people of Makib. They're dying because of you. You're supposed to protect Makib, but you sold out to the huts. How much are they paying you to execute innocent people? Enough. Obviously. Make your peace while you can. Prosk, do you read? Another camp down and still no Lemda. Any luck on your end? Hang on. Getting a distress call. It's her! Patching through! Blast! Is this stupid thing working? Hello? Hello? We read you, Lemda. Your uncle sent a rescue team. The Republic's here, look! Shalem didn't send more? We're enough. Give us your coordinates and we'll get you to safety. My guards abandoned their posts and left me alone. You must be the murdering scum they went after. I broke free and ran to the nearest quake shelter. I'm the only person here. Sending you coordinates. If you tried anything but getting to safety, you might have been captured again. Or worse. Figured this was the safest place. Wait, what was that noise? Is that on your end? Ah, lost her. They're blocking her signal. My team's close to that quake shelter. Meet you there. My friends killed today. Grevin said I could return the favor. This doesn't have to end in violence. Can't you see the huts are using you? It isn't too late. Make the right choice. We're already earning enough from this job to retire. Once you're dead, we can do it in style. The shelter's collapsing! We have to get out! Don't do this. If this shelter collapses, we'll all be crushed. You've got bigger problems! The shelter's coming down! Can't we leave already? 
I didn't come all this way to die. Let's go. There's never been a ground quake like that in McKev's history. Geologic instability has increased a thousandfold since the hut takeover. Seismic readings and core stability fluctuations both indicate impending catastrophe. These ground quakes are the direct result of hut deep core mining that's going to destroy McKeb. The moment they sent the regulators here, it was obvious the huts had something to hide. Now their secret's out. Every scrap of data I collected here proves the hut cartel's deep drilling has destabilized McKeb. These ground quakes are only the start. Entire mesas will collapse. After that, gravitational decay will strip away the atmosphere, kill everything. Makeb will become totally uninhabitable. The cartel and its forces are on Makeb. Won't they die with everyone else? Oh, they know what they're doing. They just don't care. And that mystifies me. I think there's a way to save Makeb, but I need you to work with me. I'll warn you now. I'm snappish. Everyone says so. It's not personal. I'd say you're handling yourself just fine under the circumstances. My family is full of politicians. They say this is my way of rebelling. Did I mention I'm the one who convinced Uncle Shalem to contact the Republic? You're welcome. You made it! We followed Prosk's signal and... W where's Prosk? I'm sorry. He didn't... he's gone. He gave his life saving Lemda. The best way to honor that sacrifice is by continuing the fight. I know. I will. We'll get her back to Shalem. There's a clear path back to the landing zone thanks to you. Meet me at Uncle Shalem's office. We need to figure out a plan. Fast. This is nothing, Uncle. I've run the numbers. Two days, maybe less. And your office is at the bottom of a sinkhole. At least your expensive education has finally amounted to something. Told you I'd repay that loan. Bet you're wishing you'd listened to me sooner, not dismissed me as a loudmouth conservationist. Master Jedi, Lambda told me of your incredible rescue. Words cannot convey my thanks. We suspected McKev was becoming unstable, but I had no idea things were this bad. We never should have let the Hut Cartel establish their mining operation. Lemda mentioned that there's a way to stop this disaster. What is it? The regulators who held me hostage were a chatty bunch. Mostly filthy language and bragging about their blasters, but the leader said something interesting. He mentioned Project Failsafe, a Hut emergency plan if their mining went wrong. That mercenary believed the Huts have something to instantly stabilize Makeb. The cartel wouldn't have a failsafe if they didn't plan on pushing McKeb to the brink of destruction. We can't allow that. Glad you feel that way. Because you need to steal it. Assuming we can find it. Talos City. The Hut Embassy database. Ilasov's right. Data on Project Failsafe would be stored in the Hut Embassy's computers in Talos City. Unfortunately, that's under cartel control. We need Chief Herquil, Talos City's former security commander. He and a few loyal men have a hidden camp outside the city. They'll get you inside the city and embassy. Why is he hiding outside the city? Did he get fired as security commander? In a manner of speaking, the Huts put a death mark on his head. The Huts control Talao City and the surrounding area. You'll have to land a shuttle in the countryside. Expect plenty of regulators. Chief Herquil's camp is hidden at these coordinates. Don't die. You're all we've got. Chief Urquil, Shalem Avesta sent us. He says you know a way into the Hut Embassy. A real live Jedi Master. Now we're talking. Pardon the stink. Haven't been near a shower in days. Hut Embassy's locked up tight. Used to have a fancy pants bureaucrat helping us inside, Representative Eklund. But he's gone quiet. Probably dead. Good news is, the cartel hasn't changed anything at their embassy. Got the same turrets, droids, passcodes I set up for them. Lazy huts. Why does the hut cartel have an embassy on Makeb? Much less one that well guarded. The business council built it when the huts first came to do business here. 
thought it would make the slugs feel appreciated. You want inside the HUD Embassy, you'll have to finesse three layers of security. First layer is heavy turrets in the courtyard. The only good thing to come out of these ground quakes is that they expose the turret power generators. Overload those, and turrets lose their punch. Disable the turret power generators so we don't get torched on the way in. And then? Security layer two is the Embassy's main door. Three meters of reinforced Durasteel. Even a lightsaber would take hours to cut through. But the door will unlock for a diplomatic passcode. You can generate one by accessing the government building's secure terminal. Get inside the government building, slice the secure terminal for a passcode, and get out. Next. Last but not least are the security droids. Top of the line Arcanian models. Nasty disposition. Shoot intruders on sight. Good news is they can be reprogrammed. The droid control station in my old security HQ will do the trick. Turning the droids against the huts will be poetic justice. You've been most helpful, Chief. We're going in. Hit those objectives and I guarantee you'll get inside the Embassy. Whether you'll find your answers is a different matter. If Representative Eklund's still alive, maybe help him escape? He's a fuss budget, but basically all right. I'll keep a comm channel open when I can. Acknowledging new ident code. Greetings, Senior Command Unit 223. You're a credit to your security programming. I'll be sure to put in a commendation. Acknowledged. Feel free to inspect the Embassy. You will find everything in order. Please, I'm an unarmed civilian, Representative Eklund with the McKeb Provisional Authority Council. I'm the official liaison to the Hut Cartel. Whatever you need, I'll make sure you get it. Just don't hurt me. I know who you are, Representative Eklund. Chief Herquil said you were a friend. Then, you're here on Shalem's orders. I'm sorry he brought the Jedi into this. Like it or not, the Hut control McKeb now. Our only option is to cooperate, make the best of our new situation. Instead, Shalem stirs up trouble. He doesn't realize how much worse the Huts could make things for us. No matter what you offer, the Huts will always take more. Their deep core drilling has destabilized the entire planet. Please, don't be drawn in by Shalem's wild speculation. There's no evidence to support it. It doesn't even make sense. The Huts are here on the planet too. If Makeb is destroyed, they die with it. Geological readings show this planet is coming apart. But we think the Huts have a project failsafe to deal with the situation. Knowing Shalem, you'll risk anything to find it. Well, I'll save some lives and help quash this rumor for good. If this project failsafe exists, there must be some record of it in the Embassy's archives. I'll get you access to them. But the Huts are on high alert. They've already summoned reinforcements. You'll have to deal with them. I'll meet you in the archive room. You're taking a great risk. You must care deeply about Makeb. I do. Enough to know when to fight, and when to cooperate. You worry about those reinforcements. I'll make sure we can access the hot archives. Good luck! Security protocols have been disabled. Eklund came through. Almost. I ran when I heard the fighting. Let me finish this. The hut in charge of McKeb is named Taboro. If Project Failsafe exists, there should be some reference to it in his communication logs. I assume you've met Taboro. What's your take on him? He isn't your typical hut. Quick profits matter less to him than long-term gains. Here, a hollow from someone named Vidrig has a Project Failsafe tag. Let's see what it says. Greetings, O oh great and glorious Taboro. I'm happy to report that Project Failsafe is both on schedule and under budget. Your Grand Arc is approaching completion. Ever met this Vidrig before? He sounds like a used speeder salesman. I've heard the name once, but this is the first I've seen of him. Hideous fellow. As these schematics illustrate, the Ark's ingenious outer layer will completely shield the vessel and its precious contents from Makeb's atmospheric unpleasantness. The cargo hold will store your entire Isotope 5 stockpile, while your chosen few companions travel in luxurious comfort on the Ark's upper decks. 
The Huts don't have a way to save Makeb from breaking apart. They're just planning to leave the planet before that happens. You are on your own. They'll abandon us? Leave everyone to die? That's... that's monstrous! Mighty Itaboro, may I suggest replacing the standard passenger cabins with deluxe suites more suited to a hut of your stature? I can easily add them before the Ark's completion. This hollow is recent. Vidrig is still building the Ark. That means there's time to steal it for ourselves and evacuate the planet. Based on the schematics, we'll have room for the whole population if we convert the cargo hold to carry passengers. There are only so many places the Huts could hide such a massive project. We have to find it. Evacuating this planet will require someone with resources and contacts. Shalem Avesta has both. I'll scour these archives and transmit everything I find to Shalem. Given the circumstances, I feel rather unsafe remaining here. There's a shuttle pad nearby. If you remove the guards and unlock the shuttles, we could all fly away safely. You're alive! Guess my advice worked, huh? Shalem told me to patch you through right away. We're already analyzing the project failsafe plans Representative Eklund transmitted to us. They're sickening. To borrow the hut is masterminding the greatest crime in galactic history. With Vidrik's Ark, they'll escape Makeb and leave us all to die. We can't let that happen. The Devaronian promises much. We need to know if this Ark can accomplish everything he guarantees. Every other word in his plans is misspelled, and I'm no expert on engineering jargon. But the basics appear sound. I matched the Ark's construction site map to topographic readings. The Ark's being built at a secret facility inside the giant sphere. That's a big tourist trap, a mesa with a hollow interior. Too dangerous to colonize, but perfect for hiding an Ark's construction. An unplanned assault could result in irreparable damage to the Ark. What's the safest way to secure the ship? Not sure yet, Master Jedi. But we have probe droids gathering intel right now. Contact me when you're the giant spear. I'll help you plan this attack. It won't be an easy fight. Don't look at me. I've got a city to evacuate. Good luck. Ilosov, we're at the giant spear. What have you got for us? We sent probe droids to scan the zone ahead of you. Their readings... not good news. Regulator fire teams are patrolling the site. Some of Vice Commandant Grevin's finest, backed by top lieutenants from the Hut Cartel. Everyone's backing military hardware. You're the expert on regulated tactics. How do we get through your old friends? The fire teams are spread out for patrol sweeps. Take those teams out fast enough, and you shouldn't have to worry about a coordinated defense. The Ark construction site's behind a triple-bladed durasteel blast door. It takes three separate keycards to open the thing. Only cartel representatives carry them. Guess the Huts only trust the regulators up to a point. They need to find the cartel's top lieutenants and get their keycards. Thanks for the intel and advice. We'll contact you again when we unlock that blast door. I'll keep searching the files in case there's anything else. Good luck. Ilosov. We're through the blast door. Good. Seal it behind you. There ought to be a control panel nearby. Scramble the security codes. That'll keep reinforcements from following you. Schematics for the air construction site are a mess. Can't tell what half the symbols mean. Just do whatever it takes to secure the Ark. And good luck. This is insane. My men are working triple overtime, and we're still falling behind. Work faster. That's not... Look, 
We both know Vedric's skimming off the top. If this keeps up, we'll never finish the arc. You got a big mouth, Tiero. Maybe I'll shut it for you. Be aware, friend. No being is unarmed when others will stand up for him. Wait. You. You're who Taboro's yelling about. Give me a hand here. He's worth a fortune dead. On the wrong people. <laughs> oh, wait, where's the ark? I thought it... Oh, wow. Republic, huh? Don't know what you're doing on Maqueb, but thanks. These cartel idiots won't listen to reason. I try calling for help and get a blaster shoved in my face. The huts work us to death, treat us like slaves. No, like animals. You stood up to that cartel thug pretty well. What's your name? Tiero. I'm foreman here, for what it's worth. You saw what happens when I try to do my blasted job. It's all on Fiedrich's orders. My men break their backs, building his Ark while he steals everything not bolted down. Thanks to Vidrig, the Ark's weeks behind schedule. My crew can't finish the ship while that slimy Devaronian's selling off its components. Vidrig, fast talker, horns on his head. Likes kissing up to huts. Oh, you know him. I'll tell my crew to lay low. Put Vidrig in his place, and we'll help you out however we can. Got the best Ugnaught engineer in four sectors on retainer. She's a genius with electro-plumbing. You'll have the classiest refresher in Coruscant, boss. Still can't decide what to put in the sonic shower. Felucian Glimmerstones look so elegant, but I love Rylothian Onyx tile. Feel free to go solve your interior decorating problem. This entire facility is now Republic property. You're that Republic hero to borrow screaming about on the hollow. The cartel's so worried, they're paying double to finish the arc ahead of schedule. That's on top of what they're offering to kill you. Uh -uh. Never let it be said I'm not generous in defeat. You can have this incredible marvel of starship design at a 20% discount. 30%? Project Failsafe is falling to pieces and you're still negotiating. Some Jedi work their entire lives to achieve that level of calm. Rule number one, never sweat the small stuff. I admit the ship needs a little work, but she's almost ready to fly. Besides, being incomplete means there's room to customize. Let me live, and I'll have this baby ready to leave the atmosphere in no time. You won't find a better offer, trust me. Don't count on being trusted, but you can work for our people. Hello, Vidrig. Time to earn your pay. Looking forward to it. Could you spare some culto first? Haven't had contact with the outside in weeks. This is Foreman Tiero, and Republic forces calling from Giant Spear. Does anyone read? Loud and clear, Tiero. We sent those Republic forces. What's the Ark's status? Is it secure? Go ahead. Give him the bad news about the Ark. It's incomplete, but... Is the Ark that important? Foreman, this is Shalem Avesta. Makeb's core is tearing apart, and we can't stop it. That Ark is our people's only hope of escape. If I send you every able body I have, and guarantee your safety, can you finish the Ark in time to evacuate our world? I'll blast it well try. The Huts are surely organizing a counterattack. We're forming a battle plan to defeat it. We'll brief you back here. Hurry! If the Huts are striking back, should we leave these workers and the Ark unguarded? You lock the main blast door. We can hold out until reinforcements get here. Vidrig kept a private shuttle pad nearby. You can take his transport while we get to work. We can't thank you enough for securing the Ark, Master Jedi. You turned certain death into a chance for survival. The Ark's missing more than a few vital components. We're still a long way off from loading it with evacuees. Foreman Tierro is one of the best shipmen on Macab. He'll get the job done, if we protect his construction site. 
We intercepted priority signals from the cartel. Every regulator in this hemisphere has been ordered to retake the Ark. At all costs. If we knew the Regulator Army's staging point, we could potentially cut them off. Surest way to close any deal is by blocking the competition from bidding. Some refugees know how to use a blaster. I'll organize the security force to protect the Ark. Navigator, we'll need your shuttle. Come on. My people are scouting for Regulator activity and reporting what they find. We've identified one major staging area. The Fingers. Originally one mesa, until a quake redecorated the place. Now, it's held together by a series of interconnected energy fields, light bridges. The regulators store heavy artillery and weapon caches there. If those mercenaries rearm, they'll blast us to oblivion. The mercenaries place too much confidence in force of arms. Destroying their caches will collapse our enemy's resolve. I hadn't considered that, Master Jedi. But the thought makes me smile. We know the Regulator's army also includes war droids and a battle platform. We're still scouting for those. Translation, he's finding lots of ways to risk your life. You're trying to save your people, and we're your best chance. There's nothing to apologize for. Who was apologizing? Once you've destroyed the artillery and weapon caches in the fingers, contact me. I should have additional targets by then. Good luck. Shalem, come in. The Regulator's weapon caches are all destroyed. Outstanding. I hope you're ready for more. We've detected an army of war droids massing for an attack. If those war droids make it across that bridge, they'll slaughter everyone in their path, including us. If the Huts can set up a light bridge, we can take it down. I had something slightly more destructive in mind. The war droids are holding position for now, but you could lure them out by transmitting false orders from the mercenary army's comm towers. Once the droids are halfway across the light bridge, you could deactivate it. Drop the whole army into the depths. Those droids will spend the rest of this fight seven kilometers down. At the rate the planet's collapsing, they won't have time to rust. Slice into the mercenary comm towers. Transmit the false marching orders and deactivate the light bridge at the perfect moment. Good luck. The destroyed army is gone for good. The regulators will think twice before setting foot on that light bridge. I know the cost per unit of those war droids. Between them and the weapons you destroyed, the regulators are over 300 million credits in the red. If all they care about is money, there has to be a credit figure where retreat becomes the better option. Our foes appear determined to throw good money after bad. We finally tracked down the main mercenary base. A floating battle platform called the Storm Carrier. Vice Commandant Greven, the mercenary leader, is gathering troops there. We can't let Greven's forces reach the Ark. The only way to stop the Storm Carrier is by overloading its power reactors to meltdown. Should we eliminate Vice Commandant Greven, or is he worth more as a prisoner? Greven knows the Huts won't tolerate failure. I doubt he'll let himself be captured. Sending you the Storm Carrier's coordinates. Our scouts report there's a regulator shuttle near your position. You can fly it directly to the enemy and take them completely by surprise. Everything's riding on this. May fortune smile on us all.
Warning. Warning. Reactors 2, 5, and 8. Approaching critical mass. Carrier cooling system has been disabled. I knew you were ruthless, but you'd destroy this carrier. Kill everyone aboard just to make a point. If I didn't have to shoot you, I'd give you a job. Only someone who has forsaken all decency would believe that money triumphs over morality. And only fools think morals make them superior. Once you're dead, the cartel's paying us more than we'd earn in a lifetime from this planet's idiot government. McKeb can burn for all we care. So can your Republic. Isotope 5 will change everything. Once they're done mining McKeb, the Huts will own this galaxy. The cartel is destroying McKeb to mine Isotope 5? What makes that substance worth all this? No point telling you. It won't do any good. You've cost me a fortune today, but I can still recover my expenses. Time to settle your debt. People of Macab, your heroes return. Watch out. Uncle Shalem is running for president of whatever planet we all move to. This distinguished Jedi has protected our oppressed people and bestowed hope on Macab. The regulators are defeated. The Ark is secured. Macab is a paradise. You built this planet with blood and sweat, patience and love. Now your home is dying, as all things must. But you won't die with it. You will survive. Gather your memories and your friends close. Cherish the legacy of Makeb, and your world will live on. The Force is with you. I meant what I said. All of it. The Ark is safe, and we'll soon have it ready to fly. We've earned a moment to celebrate. Especially you. Back at the Hut Embassy, we found a hollow that said the Ark was being built to transport something called Isotope 5. When we faced Greven, he said Isotope 5 would change the galaxy, but he wouldn't say how. Does that name mean anything to you? Sounds more like some idiotic hut codename than a scientific discovery. We finally have Mighty to borrow the hut's attention. Calling to congratulate us, old friend? <laughs> You're not much of a salesman to borrow, but I've always wanted to see a hut grovel. Can you actually bend over enough to kiss the ground? <laughs> Spare us your empty threats, Taboro. Makeb is doomed, and the Ark is our only escape. If we give it back, we're all dead. Thanks for telling us where to fuel up the Ark. We'll be right over. Okay, mother, come, come. 
I recognize where that droid was attacking. Tarlam. It's a small city without defenses. I'll summon a shuttle to take you there. Please, save my people. Tabaro's new weapon must be stopped. The Jedi will protect your city. I'm sending an emergency signal to the Republic. We need a science expert down here. If Tabaro's telling the truth about Isotope 5, we're still stranded. And that hut's going to slaughter us all. Hurry to Tarlem and stop his droid. What's the galaxy coming to? Huts invading, planets cracking in half, and now that, that, whatever it was. Somebody tell me what that was. It appeared to be a droid, Mayor. Here I was, thinking it was a shiny Wookiee on stilts wearing turbo lasers for a hat. A droid indeed. Now, who the blazes are you? Take a deep breath and relax. You don't need to yell. I'm sorry, what? I can't hear over the ringing in my ears. You know, from all the screaming and explosions. These are the reinforcements Shalem Avesta told us to expect. They're here to help. This mace is already collapsing. Now, I've got wounded people everywhere, and all the working shuttle pads are outside town. You obviously can't stay. What will it take to get your people out of here safely? It's not a question of resources. We're racing disaster here. No telling when this mesa will fall apart. Mayor, we're getting emergency alerts. The huts are landing reinforcements, mercenaries, and more of those droids. Lovely. I'm the one-legged woman at the droid kicking contest. They're holding the shuttle pads. We'll never get off the mesa unless someone drives the enemy off. Leave the hut forces to me. I'll open the routes out of here. You be ready to move your people. Just clearing off the pads isn't enough, though. We need to stop the huts from landing more reinforcements until we've all evacuated. We could erect energy shields, Mayor. Cover the pads so they can only be used for flying out. Solaire, you're actually useful. If we got you some energy shields, could you set them up at each landing pad? You can count on me. Complicated missions are my specialty. I'll clear the shuttle pads and make sure they won't work for the huts. Gather the wounded, prep for evacuation on the double. We are leaving. Take these energy shields. Activate them at the landing pads. Good luck. That's far enough. Thank you. Jedi should recognize an inferior bargaining position when they see it, yes? Please, the next ground quake could destroy this mesa. Kill us all. Then let's keep the negotiations brief, hmm? We've done no harm to these people. All we seek is the droid's Isotope 5 power supply. What does the Empire know about Isotope 5? You misunderstand my position. I don't know what the substance is, nor do I care. I'm simply following orders to recover samples. No time for debate. Let us have the Isotope 5, or we'll be forced to execute the prisoners. I'm sure no one wants that. I came here to save lives, not end them. Since you haven't hurt anyone, I can afford to be merciful. I knew I could trust you to see the light, Master Jedi. Men, it's time we were going. Thought we were deader than a depleted reactor. Thanks. I'm sure it wasn't easy letting those Imperials go. The Republic doesn't throw away its people just to win an argument. Had my doubts when Shalem pledged Makeb to you folks. But I've got no complaints now. We'd better get moving. I'll tell Shalem to expect wounded. Mayor, good to see you alive. I trust everything is under control? Listen, Shalem. An Imperial strike team was just here. They stole a sample of Isotope 5. How do they even know it exists? One more thing to worry about. We're evacuating Tarlam and bringing the wounded with us. We'll have medics standing by at the refugee center, Mayor. Take your people there. I've set up a new camp near the Ark construction site. You have the coordinates. Meet me to plot our next move. We'll be there soon, Shalem. Do you have a plan in mind? The Republic sent down a top engineer to review the Ark's schematics. He's made some interesting discoveries. Hurry.
Ah, you're here. Good news. Tarlem's refugees evacuated safely, and no fresh reports of Taboro's droids. You bought us time, and we'll need it. This is Gazadar, one of the Republic's top engineers, and a brave man for coming down here. Of all the Jedi, you're the one I've been most excited to meet. I'd love to pick your brain about holocron design. Holocrons are more than merely technology. I'll happily discuss them with you once we're all safely off Makeb. I'll need time to think up questions anyway. Gaz just made it through the analysis of the Ark schematics. I'm sad to report that Taboro wasn't lying. The Ark was specifically built to run on Isotope 5. It's the only energy source capable of pushing that massive vessel through Makeb's atmosphere. Those war droids Taboro sent to attack Tarlem also ran on Isotope 5. Maybe we could convert their power cores into fuel. You'd be acquiring it in such small amounts that we'd never get enough before Makeb's core goes critical. Then we need the real brains behind the Hut Cartel's operations here. Dr. Juvard Ilip Ogarab. And we know where he is. Whoa. The only five-time winner of the Beodur Science Prize is on Makeb? Are you saying he designed the Ark? Probably those droids, too. Dr. Ogarab has been holed up at the Sanctuary Research Complex since before his people invaded. If anyone knows about Isotope 5, it's him. Why would a hut scientist help us at all? Isn't he with the cartel? Dr. Ogarab is well respected across the galaxy. For a hut, he's pretty reasonable. The Sanctuary Research Complex is one of the most advanced experimental laboratories in the galaxy. It's on an isolated mesa completely under hut control. There's no telling what sort of defenses a genius like Dr. Ogarab has there. And you'll be going in blind. There are data access terminals on Sanctuary's testing grounds. Try accessing one. It might let you disable any unwelcome surprises. Otherwise, good luck. I don't care how well defended Sanctuary is. I'm tougher. I'll have Dr. Ogarab back in time for dinner. I have no plans to feed him. It would cost a fortune. And please, for the love of science, don't hurt Dr. Ogarab. I didn't bring a way to preserve his brain. It's high time you Republic agitators showed up. To borrow and his brutes of this entire facility captive. I was wondering if you'd ever bother liberating it. The Republic sent me here to protect its people from a HUD invasion. The word you're looking for is Defender. No offense intended. I'm confident you are quite the hero. There are many on this Mesa being forced to work as slaves. We would be honored to aid your attack. We possess detailed data on the lethal security grid to borrow installed across the Mesa. We'll help you destroy it so you can enter the main complex, and we can escape. If you have information, now's the time to share it. Things are about to get loud. I am transmitting data on several key objectives. Each will provide you ample opportunity to convey your displeasure with Taboro. Stand by. Follow those instructions precisely. You'll not only gain access to the main complex, you'll destroy Taboro's security grid. We'll speak again when you breach the main complex entrance. Taboro's security grid is down. We're entering the main complex. Spondiferous! You've eliminated many of that bully's unforgivably barbaric thugs, but more remain inside the complex. Once you've eliminated them and disabled any internal defenses, we will evacuate Sanctuary. Your heroics are most appreciated, and we will return the favor. It is obvious you came for the illustrious Dr. Oberon. We're transmitting his coordinates so that you may quickly find him. Best of luck. We're fighting over a dying planet. This madness must end. Let the Jedi help you negotiate peace and end this pointless conflict.
Churlish nincompoop. You can see why I was forced to lend my brilliance to your assault. I'm glad you're here. My apologies for the earlier subterfuge. Unnecessary contrivance. Taboro seized control of my defenses and was watching me closely. But I am no one's prisoner. You helped us defeat your own security grid. I thought your people only spoke in Huttese. All Huts can speak your language. We simply choose not to. Given the circumstances, I prefer to avoid linguistic misunderstandings. We have complementary goals. You want what Taboro possesses, and I wish very much not to die here. Provide me with transport off this doomed planet. I will aid your efforts to recover the Isotope 5 fuel rods that power Taboro's Ark. You're the only halfway decent hut we've met in a while. I suppose that should count for something. How fortunate for me that my brethren have profoundly lowered your expectations. I have a personal shuttle here. It's large enough to accommodate us all. Thanks to you, it can now fly. We should leave before Taboro sends an army to kill us. Take me to your allies, and I will explain what must be done. Doctor, it's such an honor. I'm so glad we weren't forced to kill you. Don't make our guest any more nervous than he already is. The Republic only kills in self-defense. As I saw in our flight from Sanctuary, you specialize in artful property damage. Now that you're here, what can you tell us about Isotope 5? How does it feel with the Ark? Isotope 5. Tomorrow's great discovery at the center of Macab. Something truly unique in all the galaxy and worth destroying this planet to obtain. Imagine a substance as light as shimmer silk, but stronger than durasteel. It distorts gravity and electromagnetic fields so predictably that it can be refined into fuel. Isotope 5 has limitless potential to remake this galaxy. Those droids you battled were first-generation prototypes. Playthings. Isotope 5 is the cartel's key to becoming a galactic superpower. That's why they invaded Makeb, and why Tabora won't back down. He has staked the cartel's entire future on this world. He cannot fail here. I crafted a beautiful set of Isotope 5 fuel rods to power Tabora's Ark. Some of my finest work, but you'll never see it. According to my data stream, Tabora has increased mining production to maximum levels. Makeb's destruction will arrive far ahead of schedule. You have a spacecraft, yes? We should depart immediately. We won't abandon millions of Makeb refugees. You said you could help us get the fuel rods back. That was before I saw the latest updates on Taboro's drilling operations. The mining platforms are massive lasers drilling directly into the planet. Shutting them down would release core pressure and buy us time. Attacking the mining platforms would be suicidal. Even worse, it might kill me. Wait, why do I get the feeling you're serious? You just confirmed our next move. Stay put and hope we make it back. <sighs> Death by Taboro or slow suicide with the Republic. Perhaps I have chosen poorly. I fear it won't be as easy as flipping switches. The platforms and their control rooms will be heavily defended. Surely Taboro has the platforms rigged to shoot down any incoming shuttles. Thanks to Dr. Ogarab's craft, we know what transponder frequency Taboro uses to identify friendly airspeeders. We'll fake them out. I'll have a transport to the mining platforms prepped for you immediately. Keep us apprised of your progress.
Lemda, Gez, we're at the drilling site's primary control center. An Imperial soldier, an ex-native, told us to open the emergency release valves. He said it was the only way to release planetary core pressure. Do you agree? Tectonic vibrations are still off the charts. Caranto Mesa just exploded. Good thing we're not there. Those drilling lasers were working overtime. The heat buildup beneath the planet's crust is massive. Venting the core would cool things off. Sounds like it's our only option. Slicing the mainframe now. It's working. Readings show seismic activity falling quickly. That should buy you enough time to get the Ark's fuel rods. We're still cutting it awfully close. Can we use this equipment to reverse the core's damage? Well, if we had months, maybe. But we don't. We've had an interesting development while you were gone. Dr. Ogarab isn't the only hut on Makeb who's changing sides. The local hut cartel leaders, minus Taboro, want to negotiate with you personally. Hurry back to camp and meet us in the diplomatic tent. You sold us out to that maniac to borrow? Now that he's turned on you, we're supposed to save your skins? Incredible. Had we known Taboro was insane, we never would have supported him. He is no longer Hut Cartel. We formally shun him. However, in breaking ties with Taboro, we find ourselves stranded on the keb with you. We are prepared to offer generous compensation for seating and cargo space aboard the Ark. Cargo? Are you delusional? Your bodies take up more room than a dozen good people. Ah, one of the Republic's greatest heroes. Just the person we could use to bring some wisdom and perspective to the discussion. In my experience, wisdom and perspective are necessary qualities for anyone who desires harmony. Where was the Hut's wisdom when they mined my world to death? Most revered Republic champions, my masters apologize for this unfortunate situation. Surely we can reach a state of mutually beneficial recompense and earn passage aboard the Ark? My people deserve rescue. The Hut Cartel's leaders can't just beg their way out. Shalem's right. But these are the most powerful huts in the galaxy. We can name our price to save their lives. And think what that means for defeating the Empire. They'll say anything to get what they want, and the minute we turn our backs, they'll stab us. They wouldn't dare. You hold all the power here. You can force them to commit their fleet to our side. Taboro has lost his mind, and these cartel leaders know it. They can't go back to him. They need us. Honored Republic heroes, you are known for mercy and greatness. Can you find it within yourselves to forgive our profound error in judgment? In many ways, we are defined by our mistakes. We can let them destroy us, or use them as opportunities to grow. Tell me. Are you truly prepared to change? Honored Republic negotiators, my masters will happily continue debasing themselves, but Makeb's time grows short. If you provide safe passage for my masters and their cargo, they will fully commit the cartel to an alliance with the Republic. Surely you find this agreeable? Inform your masters that they'll be allowed to board the Ark with the other refugees. Personal belongings will be loaded as space permits. First priority will be given to food, medicine, and other items essential to survival or rhodium-plated statues will not qualify. We'll negotiate exactly what responsibilities the cartel has to the Republic once this crisis is over. We'll expect full cooperation. My masters wish no further hostilities with you. The offer is accepted without condition. I think you're the first in galactic history to force the huts into a deal they can't afford. Now all we need are those fuel rods. Dr. Ogarab is with Shalem. You should coordinate with them. The cartel has deserted you, Taboro. You have no allies left. Don't be a fool. Give us the fuel rods. <laughs> There's something very wrong with you. Listen to what you're saying. It doesn't make sense.
That inbred imbecile has abandoned all sanity. You'll have to take the Ark's fuel rods by force. His palace is a testament to my artistry. I poured my spirit into designing lethal defenses. I also left myself a private entrance inside. Finding a way inside the palace is the least of our problems. We're heading into the heart of a lunatic's private playground. Tabora will have far more than my inspired designs guarding him. His most lethal soldiers and isotope 5 droids patrol every corridor. We'll hold this position until you get back. Without those fuel rods, millions will die. If you can't get them, I'm canceling your parade. Tell your people not to worry. We'll get those fuel rods no matter what. Be safe. You now have coordinates and the security code to my secret entrance. Once you're inside, contact me for more information. Don't die. Your hidden entrance appears to be unguarded, Doctor. Of course. Tomorrow doesn't even know it exists. He has no eye for such exquisite detail. He is also despairingly predictable, and almost certainly ranting away in his throne room while clutching the fuel rods to his bosom. I am transmitting procedures to defeat the security protocols separating you from tomorrow. Follow them precisely. I'll be unable to reach you via hollow after this. We can take things from here. You've been most helpful. The Republic will remember your cooperation. Perhaps your Supreme Chancellor will reward me with my own private laboratory. The planet Tishron would be perfect. A last word of advice. Tomorrow asked for some rather unorthodox droid designs. It's possible he actually built a few. If so, good luck with them. This planet may not be around much longer, but its people will always be part of the Republic. A Jedi only seeks confrontation when there's no other recourse. You've had plenty of time to be reasonable. This is your last chance to borrow. You left us no chance to get you out of here alive tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> the Ark's fuel rods, as promised. Tomorrow's gone, along with his entire supply of isotope 5. The whole planet felt it. Lambda says the explosion triggered a chain reaction in the planet's core. You have unfinished business, better make it quick. I'll take the fuel rods and get our people to work installing them. I left a shielded shuttle here at the camp. It's your ticket off, Makeb. The rest of us are taking the Ark. You're sure there's nothing else that needs to be done? Have all the planet's refugees made it aboard the Ark? The ship is full and ready to fly. Thanks to you, we're about to achieve the fastest planetary evacuation in galactic history. I hope we meet again on Keylander Station. It'll have to be. Lemda says there's a fissure opening directly beneath us. We're launching before the Mesa collapses.
catastrophe on the surface, we fear the worst. The Republic just inherited several million people who need a new home. Please meet me in Keylander Station's conference chamber. We have much to discuss. The Supreme Chancellor requested a meeting. Welcome back. I was informed that you survived a terrifying ordeal. You have my deepest admiration. Ah, here they are. Millions of hungry mouths to feed and nothing to show for it. You pledged, Mekeb, to us, Shalem, and you knew it was doomed. We had no idea the planet was that unstable. Our offer was made in good faith. My uncle is a businessman, Chancellor. But in this case, he's telling the truth. You knew the groundquakes were getting worse. You used the Republic, knowing we'd be obligated to help your people even if you had nothing to offer in return. They didn't know Makeb was doomed, only that the groundquakes were increasing after the Huts took over. They didn't voice all of their suspicions, but they were trying to save lives. Would we have acted any different? That hardly matters now. This is a debacle. We came here seeking resources to defeat the Sith Empire. Instead, we're walking away with debts and obligations. What about the Hut leaders? You negotiated a peace agreement with them, didn't you? He's right. The cartel leaders have promised to support the Republic wholeheartedly. So we have a worthless ally and a broken one. Still, the Huts possess considerable wealth. Only the cartel leaders who needed rescuing agree to this alliance. Fortunately, they possess most of the wealth and power. They'll neutralize any holdouts. With our new friend's wealth and warships, we've gained a substantial advantage over the Empire. That doesn't address the problem of Makeb's people, however. I need a solution. The Huts destroyed Makeb. It seems only fair they should pay the cost of caring for its refugees. We can hold their warships in reserve and use them to protect vulnerable systems. Meanwhile, the Huts will build a colony for Makeb's people. I had to twist your arm to call the Republic. Glad you finally swallowed that spirit of independence. After everything we've been through, to receive such generosity. Thank you all. The people of Makeb need someone guiding them to their new home. I think you're the right person for that job, Shalem. I'm not. But you've shown me what a true leader looks like. I'll follow that example. I want to speak with my operative in private. Please excuse us. You've made the best of an unfortunate situation. Well done. The Huts want to be on the winning side of this war, and you've shown them who that is. We have you alone to thank for this alliance. Let's hope what we achieved here will ripple across the galaxy and rally more forces to our cause. This victory has already been noted by several independent factions. Our diplomats will be quite busy. For too long, the Republic has wasted time reacting to the enemy. We must fight this war to win by going on the offensive. Savor this victory. Return to the war's front lines and press our advantage. Together, we will be triumphant. expert on unexplained mysteries. We've got a doozy for you. Hoping you can solve it quick. Something's happened on Makeb. More accurately, it didn't happen. Scout teams report the planet has stabilized. The ground quakes and volcanic eruptions have all subsided. The science office big brains can't explain it. All we know is, Makeb isn't tearing itself apart anymore. Perhaps we won't need to find Makeb's people a new homeworld after all. I think that's what Madam Chancellor is hoping. But the planet's already being resettled. When the Huts swallowed that treaty you forced down their throats, they abandoned their Mercs' planet side. The Mercs are making the most of having survived. 
They've taken over my cabin and enslaved thousands of civilian refugees who we thought were dead. Those people were counting on us to get them to safety. We have to finish what we started. I thought you might take a personal interest. One more thing. Scouts report Imperial forces are on Makeb. That's why I'm commanding this mission personally. I want answers. We've sliced the planet's comm network. When you land on Makeb, I'll keep in touch. Head to the coordinates I'm transmitting for further orders. That was impressive soldiering you did on Makeb. A lot of former slaves would like to shake your hand right now. A lot of former mercenaries are wishing they'd never met you. Do we know what stopped Makeb from tearing itself apart? The big brains will be analyzing the data for months. A shame we haven't got that much time. Now the bad news. Sensors detect toxic gas from the core filling Makeb's atmosphere. We're projecting the planet's air will be unbreathable in weeks. We can forget about resettling Makeb, but there's still plenty of work to do down there. Hope you'll stick around and lend a hand. I look forward to serving with you again. Supreme Commander Malcolm out. <laughs> <laughs>